Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Just before we start this video, I just want to mention two things. First of all, a comment that I received on my last video. So my last video was a command block sliding door, so definitely not a survival based build. But then I received this comment. <sighs> I don't think I've ever felt that stupid. <laughs> and secondly, Mycon happened and we got Pumba! Anyway, in today's video, we are making a drop down armory. Now, that is thanks to all the people who have suggested it, so we want to say a massive thank you to Drummer Please, Ewan Trezais, Ashton Barker, Asian Pig, Random Guy, Marshall0071, and I'm Batman. Because I'm Batman! <laughs> and just like that, end of the video because he's ruined his voice box. <laughs> I can't speak. So here is our drop down armory that we're going to be building today. Now I am fully aware that you can make this slightly smaller if you use a piston extender design and not a slime block launcher. But really, when you're given the opportunity of using a slime block launcher, you take it. <laughs> so this is how it works. So all you have to do is stand on this block here. So as you can see at the moment, we are fully naked. <coughs> no, not fully, literally naked. No, armor naked. <laughs> and then when we press this button here, we get fired down, shot back up, and now we are ready. Sword, shield, and full armor. So taking a quick look at the redstone now, as you can see, the redstone is very easy to build, really nice and simple, and it's fairly compact. Like I said, not the smallest design, but it is using a slime bot launcher, which obviously makes it a lot better. <laughs> so, you've seen the design, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this epic build, you're going to need 5 sticky pistons, 1 slime block, 3 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone torches, 1 redstone block, 5 redstone dust, 6 dispensers, 1 stone button, 8 blocks of redstone to go on, 6 items that you want to dispense on yourself, so I'm going to be using the 4 bits of armour, and then a sword and a shield, and then having blocks you need for decoration. Now a bit of a different tutorial today, because I'm actually starting in a regular world. <laughs> for once! <laughs> now the reason for that is because this build is mainly set underground, and it didn't really make sense for me to build it above ground, when most of you are going to build it underground. I hope that makes sense. So firstly, you need to start with a hole like this. So that's three long, four wide, and seven deep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now after you've got digging, you need to place a block down like this. And this block is where our button is going to be. So let's grab a button and place it like that. Now next to this block, we need to place another block. Now this block is the block which we stand on when we press our button. Now underneath this block, all the way down at the bottom, we need a sticky piston facing upward. Now there should be a five block gap between this sticky piston and this block. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So five blocks between that sticky piston and that block. Brilliant. <laughs> now place a slime block here, and then a block here on this side of your chasm, <laughs> of your hole. Then a torch here, dust, a torch to this side, uh, sorry, a block to this side, and a torch on the side, and dust, two sticky pistons like this, one and two, and on the side of these sticky pistons, place torches like this, one and two. Then from this block, we need another block to the side, and a repeater on it like that, on one tick delay. Then another block up, and another repeater, again, on one tick delay. Then grab three dispensers and place them like this. One, two, and three. Okay? And then three dispensers here. One, two, and three. Now, so that's dust and repeaters going into to this dispenser, and we want it to power this dispenser as well. So we do that by placing a block here, and then having dust on it, like so. Then a block above, and again, dust on it to fire these two. Now, whilst we have them open, we may fill them now, it might be slightly easier. So in these four dispensers here, these have to be your armor, and these two have to be your extras. If you try to put the armor in the top, sometimes it won't just get dispensed on you, it will get dispensed in your inventory, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> so these four are your armor spots. So, you know, your elytra or chest plate, helmet, whatever you want. And these two are your extras, so your sword and shield or whatever. So let's place in our armor. So let's go diamond boots in here, leggings, chest plate, helmet, and then our extras in here. So our sword and our shield. Brilliant. 
Now directly underneath this block with the button on it, we need a sticky piston. Okay, now on the face of that sticky piston, we need a block. A block here and one down. Remove it and have a repeater on three tick delay facing this way. So place it down and press it twice, once and twice. Then we need a sticky piston facing upward here, like that. Block here and dust. And surprisingly, that's everything <laughs> completely done. So if we fill in all of the top like this, and then just clear all of our items out. So if we stand here and then press the button, we should have a full armory. <laughs> so let's just make sure I stand on the block, press the button. There we are. <laughs> As you can see, I have my sword and my shield. Brilliant. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye.